Hello and welcome to our second class in our online course on financial institutions. And in this class we are going to talk about asymmetric information and specifically we're going to talk about two types of asymmetric information. Adverse selection and moral hazard. So let's get to it. First of all, I think many of you guys would agree with me that in the modern world information and knowledge is power and key. In the modern world information is key for finding out about the best deals in many different areas of our life, be that your business or personal life. I think you would also agree with me that not everyone has the same amount of information on a myriad of topics. Some of us might have an advantage in the amount of information we have for some topics and we might be at a disadvantage in relation to other topics. Especially if the topics are relatively complex. The difference between the amount of information people have about a given topic or about a given issue is very common in finance and be that in finance or in any other area this situation is called asymmetric information asymmetric information is basically a situation when some parties to an interaction be that business interaction or any personal life interaction have different amount of information about the topic of the interaction and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with whether the participants in the interaction are smart or dumb. For example, if you are buying a second-hand car, if you are not a mechanic, you would not know as much about buying a particular second-hand car as the seller. In this situation, you, the buyer, and the seller of the car are participants in one interaction and one of the parties to these participants namely the seller has much more information about the topic of the interaction namely the second-hand car and again this is not because the buyer is dumber than the seller is just because simply the seller has more information about the topic as he had a chance to own that car for a while before the buyer this example also shows that this situation is normal when the topic of the interaction is relatively complex, such as a car. If instead you are buying an apple or a banana, most likely you as the buyer and the seller of that apple would know equal amount of information about the topic of your interaction, namely the apple. For another very illustrative and hopefully entertaining example of an asymmetric information and the problem that it creates, see another video which will also be attached to this second class and the video called Asymmetric Information. For now though, in this video we continue with different types of asymmetric information. There are actually many different types of this situation. We are going to talk about two of those, adverse selection and moral hazard. Let's describe these two, starting with the adverse selection. Adverse selection is a situation that actually happens before the transaction, before the interaction. And let's have a look at an example in finance so that it is a little bit easier to describe and understand what is adverse selection. It's a situation where one of the parties to the transaction has better information than the other. And the third feature of adverse selection is that on example of finance, specifically an example of borrowing, bad borrowers, which are usually associated with adverse outcome, here's the clue in the name, adverse selection and adverse outcomes, bad borrowers are more likely to be selected Again, a clue in the name. Bad borrowers are more likely to be selected because they will probably apply more efforts in seeking an approval for a loan compared to good borrowers 
who probably don't need the loan as much. So to recap, adverse selection is a situation when the counterparty that you don't want to choose is actually more likely to be chosen for your interaction. Hence, of course, it all happens before the actual interaction or transaction. Now about the moral hazard. It happens after the transaction. It is a situation when one party to the transaction has an incentive to change the behavior as opposed to the promised one after the transaction actually takes place. And there is danger or hazard, again a clue in the name, that borrowers would engage in undesirable or immoral, again a clue in the name, immoral behavior that will make repayment of the loan less likely. For an example, for moral hazard, let's have a look at a purchase of an insurance for a car. And this picture, this illustration is not really about that, but basically moral hazard is tightly related to a situation when promises are broken after the transaction has taken place. After the transaction, when driver has got the insurance for the car, the driver might be incentivized to drive a little bit less carefully. After all, the vehicle is already insured. And presumably, when negotiating for the insurance, the driver might have promised to drive very carefully in an attempt to get better rates for the insurance. And again, for a more illustrative and hopefully entertaining example of adverse selection and moral hazard, see another video also attached to this class which is called Adverse Selection and Moral Hazard.